Hey guys, welcome back to Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Uh, let's take a look at the level ups. With Stooge, we took Ballistic Skill and Laz Weapon Expert. I think sniper rifles we're using will mostly be laser weapons, so that's why. To take a nimble actually, let's see. Oh, not sure if I have that already or not, but yeah. Uh, for Cassia, we took Perception because Willpower was maxed out, I think. And then we took Pass, un pass Unscathed. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. For a bit more defense. And for Abelard, we took uh, Weapon Skill and then Get Into Cover just in case we need to. Uh, for someone to <laughs> to uh, get out of a sticky situation, and then uh, uh, Pascal has I gave him ballistic skill and plasma weapon expert. Jay got willpower. Yeah, I think she was maxed out on fellowship, and then gave her it will not die. And Elliot got agility and also got it will not die. So let's move on and see what's happening here in this uh, part of the ship. Is there anything? Nope, nothing so far. I've never wandered so much before. Okay, two enemies. Plague bearers. All right, getting some Nurgle folk now. No wonder the search parties got killed off. Don't think they were equipped to uh, fight Nurgle. Okay, Stooge can go there. Abelard can go here. Uh, I think plague bearers are melee guys, so let's take a look. Yeah, they're melee guys, so shouldn't have to worry about range attacks unless they have some friends come along. And where do we want to? We'll put Elliot here. Don't know. Jay can actually. Uh, uh, hit both Stooge and Elliot with her leadership abilities. But let's start the battle. And let's open up with Stooge. To being around. I have to admit the the maps in the uh, on the void ship the echoing is a bit <laughs> weird. Alright. Let's target the closest one to us. Yeah, let's go with that. Alright. And we'll hit him with Death Whisper. Okay. Uh... Curiosity. Okay. Uh, let's put voice of command on Stooge. If you insist, Lord Captain. This guy is almost dead. And we'll give Abelard the reveal the light off. Plus thirty six. Pretty good. Okay, he has voice of command, so let's give him take aim. Uh, let's put the rear down, and then we'll give him another turn. Okay, so we should have perfect spot. 
Uh, let's do... Aim for the opening on that Plague Bearer. Okay. There's only one AP left. Well, let's shoot the Plague Bearer with more HP and we'll use Death Whisper to take out this one. Or not. Okay. Uh, voice of command on Elliot. Okay. This tedium is beneath me. Pray on that plague bearer. Call the bowl. And let's claim the bounty. Okay. I was kind of thinking it seemed to be a bit too easy. Now we know why. Okay. Uh, mark that play bearer as prey. No. Uh, let's go with perfect spot. Okay. Uh, exploits on the play bearer, and then let's shoot. I understand your intent. Fortune favors Forty-two. It's decent. Uh, in my sights. Let's use it on the play bearer. Harry, nice. Okay, now we need to help out. So let's drop this guy. Eesh, yikes. Jay took quite a bit of damage there. Uh, is this? this? Oh, I don't think we need opening for this guy, so let's just take him out. Uh, let's put exploits on the Plague Bearer. And can always do elusive. Okay. Ah, uh, tactical knowledge. Yeah, okay, so only three enemies left, and it's these three here. Uh, we don't want to do trail just yet. Because that should think that ends the turn. Do joint analysis. And let's try doing this. Okay. Alright, let's trail him then. Endure with Avalar. Defensive stance. We'll clobber him. And let's see if we can charge. We can. Reduce the dust. Okay. More of them over there. Alright. There's one guy there, one guy there. Where's the other one? Is it further behind? Ah, oh, okay. All the way up there. Rightio. Well, in that case, let's trail him. This guy's running down, that's fine. Dodge. Harry, nice. Okay. 
Okay. If I may. And we're done. No, we're not. Ah, <laughs> uh, hilarious. Okay, nice. We've got seven. Jeez, there's a lot of them. Alright. Let's go to finest the hour then. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Is there? There's a couple over here and one guy there. So let's take this one out. Nice. Take that guy out too. We can reload. Okay. Uh, we can't reach that guy. We're down to three. We can reach this guy. Nice. Take out this guy too. And that's the end of our turn. Uh, let's give Elliot another us? turn. Bye bye. Is there any more? Nope. Yes, no. Yes, we do have more. <laughs> okay, there's something going on here. Surely. There has to be something else going on here. I don't know what exactly is meant to be happening. I've got 13 now, so it's all the corpses. Ooh, okay, so we have to start battle. Uh, how is our positioning? Abelard? Uh, I actually don't mind our positioning. One guy here. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's just start the battle. Uh, now, let's give. Too far away? Really? Okay. Well, she can move. There we go. Now, I want Elliot to hit. Ah, oh, not quite. I was hoping I could hit both of them. If I must. Okay. Bounty. This and we claim it. Beneath me. Okay. Fair enough. That's how it is, I guess. All right. So, Stooge has one next to it. Okay, let's do it like this. Nope. One hit and they dodged. Okay. In that case, I'll give Tell it to me, give Pascal an extra turn Don't get too caught. and see if Pascal can eliminate these guys. They're four. No, not really. Okay, let's go here. And no, we can't. Okay, let's just shoot him then. All right, we've got a bit of over penetration action. Nice. Let's 
drop this trap. Uh, let's save it here for a second. Uh, Alright, who do we want to trail? Yeah, this guy's out of range. I guess we're just trailing this guy then. Uh, these plagued undead seem to be a bit more resilient than the other ones. I'm not sure if I'm missing something Am though, because they keep spawning. Is this one of those things where they're just going to keep spawning until all the corpses are all <laughs> uh, been re-raised or whatever? Not sure what's going on. Cassia. How many guys are over here? Uh, let's do this actually. See. Alright. Nice. That works. See you later. Uh, Alright. Now I think... I think we can give Stooge Me? A turn. Oh, no, no, we can't. Okay. Have luck to get this buff. And we have to end this turn then. Okay, Stooge is in, a, in an awkward position. Alright. So, can. Elliot take care of the this guy. Uh, okay, we'll put put prey on that guy. We'll do call the ball. Uh, let's see. Should be a kill. Yeah, so we freed up Stooge. That's the main priority. Well, let's do this. Claim this guy too. Okay. Now this guy's kind of close to us. Uh, let's go with if it serves your cause. prey on this guy as well. And let's pop him. Uh, maybe I should be using hunt down the prey when I'm going to claim the bounty rather than just hit him. Oh well. Can't hit that guy. I can hit this, this guy. Alright. Well. It almost ended this Stooge's turn by accident. Uh, he does not have perfect spot. Let's kill this guy. Who's going next? That guy's going next, then that guy, and then that guy, okay. Well, in that case, I think we're going to try and take out this this dude over here if we can. Uh, let's put opening on him. Exploits up. And let's use Death Whisper. Nice. Alright, let's do Elusive Shadow then. And it's our turn. So this guy's coming down here. This guy's going through here. That should be fine. Let's move Pascal over here. Do tactical knowledge. Okay. Uh, machine spirit communion. Let's. Yeah, let's. Let's. No, we can't do that. Okay. Never mind. Well, in that case, let's put down this trap. Contrary to 
point analysis and then I guess that'll be our turn. Indeed. Endure and defensive stance, of course. Victory is imminent. And okay. Let's My go here. Chop this dude. Oh, not quite. Can I charge? Yeah, I can. Okay. Let's do Daring Breach. Because then we're just going to just swing. And just kill all of them. Down here. I will do like you Married. Reduced to dust. Okay. One left. And it's this guy here. Are we done now or some more? I'm guessing there's some more corpses it looks like. Oh no. Maybe we are finally done now. <laughs> okay. That was quite interesting. So we have to deal with Nurgle folk now. If such is the Emperor's will. Not sure exactly how that's going to go. Because I thought we were dealing with Slanesh, but apparently. Uh, I guess we did have to fight some pink horrors for, of Zinch and blue horrors, so I guess we're going to run the full gamut, so at some point I guess we're fighting blood letters. Uh, this is it, so let's save it here. We've got through this fight, and let's head back out to the Coronas Expanse, I guess. Okay, let's chart new routes. Okay. We can't get to Palatium Stelos from here, apparently. So how do we get there? That's very interesting. Okay. Corners from the ship's log lead to an unremarkable star system. The Orga crew reports that the arrays cannot register anything worthy of the Lord Captain's attention. Was this log entry just someone's idea of a joke? If somebody has decided to mock the rogue trader, they are playing a dangerous game. Traces of a space battle. Let's save it here. Oh, I don't like what we're see because i don't know how else we're going to get the palladium stellos so i think there might be something going on here okay not explored save it and let's see the cogitator screen highlights the shapes of several buildings this small settlement, the only one on the planet, is a winter scale dynasty outpost. Uh, visit the outpost. After a lengthy descent to the planet, you are rewarded with a dismal sight. The entire outpost consists of long columns of uniform bunkhouses, machine hangars, and a large headquarters topped with the massive antenna of an ancient fox caster. The binary suns hanging in the sky make every object cast two shadows. A spectacle you find vaguely disturbing. The custodian and his people go out of their way to give their esteemed guests a proper reception, but their resources are scarce at best. Let's talk. It shares alarming news. The outpost is highly dependent on various deliveries from the core winter scale worlds, but two ships have already failed to arrive on schedule. 
The locals do not have an astropath of their own, so the custodian cannot determine the cause of the delays or request aid. The outpost will soon run out of food at this rate, so the custodian sends an urgent request for provisions. He is begging you for help, offering what little his settlement has in exchange. Uh, supply the outpost with the provisions it needs. The custodian showers you with gratitude and hurries to send gifts in return. The formerly grim and worried faces of his men light up with relief. Needle rifle. Exotic. When this shot hits, it poisons the target with viral toxin for three rounds if the enemy fails a toughness resistance check. And we lost some provisions. That's fine. Oh, we get some cargo in return. Okay. I'm okay with that. The return, return journey treats you to a rare and unexpected spectacle. An eclipse begins as one of the two local suns covers the other. You watch as the temperature drops, the lighting changes, and the double shadows vanish. The two discs in the sky merge, forming a shimmering oval and then becoming one. Eventually, the fantastic event passes, leaving behind a vivid memory. Oh, it says not explored. Really? The winter scale dynasty outpost hails Stooge von Valancis and thanks him for the help. The locals are indebted to him, or to the rogue trader. Uh, this could be dangerous that we're helping where, where uh, winter scale isn't. But we'll save it here. Okay, let's scan again. Nothing. I do wonder if there's something we need to do here so that we can progress to Palatium Stellos. Because I think Ah there was a bunch of stuff we needed to do here, I think. So there's a possibility that we the the seal from Dargonus is on the Forgotten Twins. Uh one of the Eldari ships that fled Cruder up headed for a distant star. Oh, this was one of the Eldari survivors. Right. Okay, so Forgotten Twins. So this is where I guess that wreckage is. Uh, critical task. Okay, we finally reached Forgotten Twins. Now, check the Lord Captain's cogitate on the bridge. Perhaps the data on the rogue trader's personal cogitator could explain the strange entries in it. Okay, so done that. Very interesting. Alright. Traces of a space battle. Okay, a storm to end all storms. That doesn't sound good. The crew were treated to a truly impressive sight, a colossal storm on the gas giant's surface. The planet's dimensions in themselves were mind-boggling and then it birthed a tempest, the storm to end all storms. As the Lord Captain and his officers observed it from a safe distance through the bridges of huge viewing windows, someone suggested giving it a name and the Emperor's wrath guarded the most votes, some in the crew believed the storm to be an omen. We can only hope it is an omen of great things to come. Alright. Uh, okay. I would often watch the prison population on a small planetoid from Urak 5's observatory. Looking at this celestial body now, I am beginning to think that all such entities are alike. Okay. Let's go to this planet and scan. This planet looks a bit weird. Glass steel. Oh, I guess we can. All right, now we save it and we head to this. Lord Captain, there is evidence of a recent scuffle ahead of us. Throw and take me. This is not a frigate. This is just a gutted piece of metal. 
The helmsman falls silent for a moment. Blimey, the culprits are here too. It is the Eldari freaks. I recognize their shiny asses even from this distance. Except the Xenos are acting suspiciously. They are hovering in place and not even trying to run. Should we approach or open fire from a distance? Call off your people, Alan Tuck. Something is wrong. The children of Asurian are dismayed, but doing something like this to a monkey vessel. No, we are not animals. I appeal to your prudence and the promise you made. Do not destroy my kin for the deeds they did not commit. Lord Captain, we have received a report from the Augur crew. The situation is unusual. The Xeno ship displays no biological or energetical signal signatures, even though it appears to be intact. According to the scanners, there is nobody on board. However, survivors are believed to be hiding in one of the compartments of the damaged vessel of the Imperium. We have also spotted some drifting plating remains that belong to a third unidentified vessel. Uh, dispatch a rescue team if there are any survivors at the frigate. It will be done. Big Dis flips the switches on the Vox system's cogitator and the transmission goes quiet for a while. Xeno artifacts, fuel. Uh, Lord Captain, the scouts managed to rescue several emaciated officers from the wrecked ship. Despite their wounds, they were able to tell us what had happened. During a patrol, the frigate discovered an Eldari ship crossing the system and decided to immediately attack the enemies of humanity. The Xenos vessel proved too fast and skittish, but at one point its engines failed, giving the frigate a chance to attack. When the guns were aimed, several Drakari ships suddenly pounced from the darkness. At first they attacked from a distance, but soon boarded the frigate and wreaked a bloody massacre on the decks. It is only by sheer miracle that the surviving officers managed to escape, locking themselves up in a hidden technical compartment the Xenos had no use for. The survivors claim that the Xenos conspired and deliberately led the ship into a trap where it, where it met its doom. The Xenos joined forces to eliminate a vessel of the Imperium? Hmm. An alliance between the Eldari and Drukhari is an unusual sight, and yet such outcome is hardly surprising. Why, Master Interrogator, I was thinking exactly the same thing. At last you and I can finally agree on something. How blind are the Monkey to the vices of their own kind? Humans attack a ship of the children of Asurian sailing peacefully by, but it's my kinspeople who are to blame. Iliot is beside herself with contempt and rage. No, my kind would not butcher the dark ones of their own volition and then abandon their ship. Something else happened here, something I am afraid to even consider. Uh, send a shuttle with scouts to investigate the Xeno ship. Xeno artifacts? Lord Captain, the scouts confirm our earlier report. The sh Xeno ship is intact. Many valuable artifacts. Artifacts have been found inside, but neither their Aldari nor their bodies were discovered. Shuriken catapult. We are late again, Ellen Tuck. Have the, have the acolytes of the machine cult identify the remains of the third vessel? The Vox Master relays the order to the tech priest and promptly receives a reply. Lord Captain, I am reporting that the hull fragments belong to the Drukhari Xenos race, but the presence of their ships in the system at this time has not been confirmed. We have done everything we could, we are leaving. As you command, Lord Captain. Ooh, that's not good. So, what is the... We need to go to... Somewhere in the Tenebris Aqua system. Okay, well. Ah, that could be difficult to finish because, oh, yeah, to do because I don't even know where the Tenebrous Aqua system is at this point. Ah, Langren's Belt, Aimless Star. I don't actually know how to get to Palatium Stelos now. To 
potion's passage. Find the seal. Okay. Nameless star, Langren's belt. Cradle of Kepri, Trinitos, Ulvis Platinum. Well, so we can't get there. The only thing we can do is go to Nameless Star then. Uh, let's chart new routes. Is there a route that goes south? No. Okay. Cradle of Kep. Okay, well, since we're here, might as well see what's going on in Nameless Star. Ancient, oh, ancient bunker. Okay, not sure what was going on there. Melting venom, that's not good. Okay. Kemorak. Looks like the bunker still has a work generator. Well. Need to find a way in at this point. All Imperial Bunker. Okay. Can we get in? Before you is an ancient but wholly typical console intended for use by people not trained in the mysteries of ministering to machine spirits. The cogitator is completely silent, but as you approach, you sense the warmth emanating from its metallic casing, a telltale sign that the machine is working. Pascal offers the cogitator a reverent bow, chanting the Banaric Aura Aria of Launch Priming. The spirit of this machine embodies resilience and indomitability in this den of decay and entropy, still does it reign over this place. Uh, request status of the bunker's life support system. Water supply system fail, reason unknown. Temperature and humidity control system fail, reason unknown. Energy regulation system unknown error warning, backup generator connect. Oxygen supply system fail, warning, air filters damage. Warning, defense systems failure. Activate automated defense systems. Insufficient power, okay. No. My ears oh. are ringing. The massive door is dotted with small chip scratches and bullet marks. There is no sign of any hinges, levers, or anything resembling a lock. There is a dusty panel built into the wall to the right. As you approach, the cracked screen starts to flicker faintly. You will lose a melter charge. 58%. 40%. Machine spirits are angered by your intrusion and activate the defense systems. Previously sleeping lumens above the door blossom with amber lights. Okay. Will this work? Apparently it did. Okay. I've never wandered so much before. Mummified corpse has its arm outstretched toward the exit. On the soldier's neck is broken. Damage is negligible. Okay, I don't know. It's whatever you wish. Box caster, repair it. <clears throat> okay, now I'm really riled up. I uh Planetary defense forces, yellowish gas is slowly seeping out the rusted air duct system. 
tech use. Let's open the door. Goods. Okay. Will perish for Corrosion this was merciless to these old Imperial bayonets, and chainswords, and las guns. More cargo and gear. Nice. Okay. Well, not the much here. Is that my Hold best? fast. The star allies are with us. Will be swift. E, yikes. A decontamination shower. Okay. I need no far seer to guide my future. What is that? Worn seal. Well, I guess this is a seal we were looking for. Okay. The treasures of the Coronis await. Martyrdom is a reward. Okay, the box caster has been repaired. Unworthy soul. Insufficient Marching power. Okay, so we need to get power up and running. Okay, dude died here. Officer key. Rusted reservoir for storing drinking water. It's only half full. Valve is required to regulate the flow. What a shameful failure. All right. Well. Goods. Fuel. Old valve. Okay. Goods. What does this do? The cogitators panel has dozens of breakers, buttons, handles, switches, and other control mechanisms. Uh, okay. Quest status. Okay, so it's the same thing. Activate the emergency ventilation system. Air duct system malfunction. Okay. Can't do anything the then, so we need to keep I going. Uh, too bad I never leave that on paper. Keep a sharp eye. <laughs> Calculating optimal okay. route. All right. Let oh. us see what I found. My reckoning will be swift. Woods, okay. 348 years ago, our ancestors arrived on this blooming world, built the cities and manufactorums, and founded here a society free from heresy and fear. But the immortal emperor of humanity, water and light, saw fit to test our faith. The great war tore open a rift between our ancestors, dividing them into two factions and turning the world into a boundless battlefield. Each day we fought the enemy so that our children could see the dawn of a new era. An era without blood, pain, tears, brave people, living and dead, paved with their bodies the road to our future, and one day the skies answered our prayers. The great star allies descended from the darkness of the cosmos and bestowed upon our great army the doomsday weapon. And so we brought righteous anger upon our foes and ended the centuries-long war and welcomed the dawn of a new era. The universe will hardly notice our deed, but the Emperor sees all. Uh, we children of a great nation must dedicate ourselves to this sacred mission to survive and revivify this world, and the most beautiful flowers are revivified from ashes, and hence do not despair sons and daughters of the Imperium, for our star allies are behind us and the God of humanity is with us. I know that help is coming, and soon the skies overhead will shine once more. Okay, take that, I guess. Uh, just a minor setback. Uh. Right. Where's the profit in this? <laughs> How 
now. Mr. Thank Sam. You. Okay. Several crates of dry rations survive to this day. Each one bears a seal with the coat of the winter scale. Okay. Unknown officer's diary. I'm tired. How long has it been since Doomsday? I think it was the 36th year when the heretical cholera wiped out half our people, including Helgar. Time has stood still for us since. It was so long ago, and what a convenient solution to the overpopulation problem. The commanders think we bought this coincidence. Morons. Still, when I look in the mirror, I see my father. The same wrinkles by the eyes, grey temples, which means that I'm over 60, and we've been underground for longer than half a century. No sky, no sun, no joy, no hope. If that damn propagandist scribe tells me one more time that I must not lose faith, I will make him eat his own tongue. Sure. We were once so certain that we had won. The weapon of the great ally boggled the mind. I still remember how the sky shook before me and my ma and father were evacuated to this wretched bunker. But where has it led us? When I took over my father at the comm station, I learned that we had long since lost all communication with other PDF bases, and the stars respond to our calls with silence. These days we don't hear any bombs landing outside, but things are still re restless in the old bunker. First a water purifier failure, then a fire in the Medicare unit, rats chewed holes in the exposure suits, and now we can't go up to the surface anymore. Are these accidents, or have we had a saboteur in our midst all these years? Keep an eye on the troops. I don't believe in miracles, but we still have enough supplies on the lower levels to last us another 50 years or so. If you all can finally sort the air duct problem, that is. Next time we meet, I should ask how the repairs are going. Okay. Wow, that's not good. Old key. Access to the warehouse. Okay. No. These ruby flashes are choking me. Uh, Kaya, I'll guide your vessel and lead you on your way. Flesh is weak, yet iron knows no pain. Woods. Ah, uh, this thing. You will perish for this affront. Okay, something in here. Ah, uh, stop hitting me, Ashmak. Okay. Uh. My knowledge. Door panel. Looking for okay, a hidden that's cash. That's the one we don't have enough power for. Uh. You Why is Stooge still price. stuck here? Uh, what? An unworthy soul. What advice do you seek? What is going on here? Brace yourself, Abelard. Hey, okay, Stooge was not doing well. Don't you trust me? Pay an even greater price. Uh, nope. Making adjustments. Insufficient power. How do we restore power? Every day, a new opportunity. Why is Stooge still on the ground? Uh, is that my blood? Oh. Oh, okay, hmm? now I'm really riled up. How can one find the right way without you his will light? perish for this affront. Sufficient power. <clears throat> Toxic damage. Where is the power? Trophy, enemy, neutral creature, what character or point of interest? Has to be a way to restore power, surely.
Look okay. no further. Jay needs some help. Locomotives are fully operational. Ah, uh, how do we get through here? Help me, Lord Captain. I wander through the stars. Ah, uh, okay. Man, this is quite confusing. I did put that thing back there, so does that mean we've got power back Light up? Light of terror, guide our way. Uh, activate. System check processing, input data, data confirmed, compressor launch in progress, pressure levels nominal, warning, insufficient power. Booting emergency energy profile success, pressurizing facility, booting compressor, automatic automated defense systems activated. Okay. With your permission, I would extract the command blocks of this noble machine to hold a vigil for its deceased spirit. The Omnizire deserves preserves the faithful. Okay, so we are back up and running. So, can we open this door now? Alright, nice. Huh? Can we even get past this thing? So shall it be. Okay. Sworn protector. Interesting. Okay. Right, goods. Ugh, this master crafted teller augment is not fit for a servitor. Logic test fail. Machine right set. Nothing useful. Okay, it seems like I wasted it. I'll then. chart a course for you. The thing we have left is this door. You are different from your kin here yet, and that worries me. Not knowing what to expect means I always have to be on my guard. Okay. What's... You are unusually perceptive for a monkey, and you have such an unruly nature. Perhaps I should take a closer look at you too. Some unknown accident caused the elevator shaft to collapse. Reaching the lower levels at this point would require setting a mining team. Woods, okay. Someone sawed off the emergency stairs and tried to conceal the damage. Vox with the winter scale emblem. Entry C. It's been a hundred cycles and these idiots are still none the wise about who they saved from the storm. Going back to my camp is no longer an option. Damn rats chew through the protective suit and these pissants are out, are out of repair materials. There are some decent people here, just civilians like my mother. The one girl Zimmy even made a habit of coming by in the after hours. Uh, she asked me to teach her the letters so she can write to her father who went to the surface two turns ago. Foolish child. The war has taken its toll on both sides. Hold on. Am I sympathizing with the enemy? I better put a stop to this. I was finally allowed entry to the upper levels and lo and behold, what did I find there? The same supply crates as those gifted to our lords by the star allies. The same rations we've as we've been eating, the same weapons as we've been fighting with, so our lives have simply been toyed with. If Winter Scale has betrayed us, I must report this to the command, no matter the cost. I got my hands on a cutter and decommissioned a few blocks of explosives. No one noticed the thing. Bribed the archivist with a dozen rations. Now I just need this to get the schematics for the life support systems. Rats brought disease from the surface. The Medicare unit is packed just the right time for a quick short circuit. 
Zimmy drank the poison water and vomited a lot of blood. The schematics were inaccurate, but now I know for certain which pipes go to the living module and which to the barracks. The senior comm officer suspects something. It's time. Okay, so there's been some sort of treachery afoot. Uh, but I guess we got what we wanted day. out of it. This place. So I guess we can leave now. We've also... Ooh, what's here? Operation successful. If such is the Emperor's will. Okay. Interesting. So these doors just closed up. Uh, there's nothing else. So I guess we're leaving. Oops. I went I to... follow my own path. Room. Okay, something's happening now. Oh, the defense system has been activated. Okay. Right, fair enough. I forgot to turn that off. Elliot, Abelard. Holy moly, there are a lot of guns. Elliot. Here, Pascal. And Jake, go here. Okay. Uh, let's go with Pascal. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Analysis. The exploits. Okay. Well, let's do trail on this turret here. Does this actually do any damage? Oh, it does. Actually, very interesting. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Okay. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Oh, they actually move? Serious? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, not sure of purity. Frontline. I am a navigator, not a servitor. And Abelard. Yeah. Oh. All right. Voice of command on Elliot. Take aim. And let's give her an extra turn. Perfect spot. Oh, no. Damn it. If it serves okay. your cause. Call the old. <sighs> if I must. Forgot that it's two AP to shoot. Whoops. Uh, we'll put rear down. Here. Okay. Call the ball. Fortune favors the swift. Okay. More exploits. If it serves your cause. Okay. Five damage. Okay, Pascal, let's do tactical knowledge. Uh, the trap. Joint analysis. Uh, 
Machine Spirit Communion. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. And move on. Okay, perfect spot. Put an opening on this guy. More exploits will hopefully mean more damage. Not too much more. Fifty. Let's go elusive then. Okay. Ah, so what do do? Endure first. Defensive stance. Ah, can we charge at one of them? It will be done. Uh, did we hit? No, apparently not. Okay. Victory well, let's is kill that one then. Other one go. Should there be three of them? Looks like Abelard only takes seven to eight damage, so that's acceptable. And we'll do Notch of Purpose. Nice. And let's go with Abelard. I'll paint your death in colors. Okay. There are two. Okay, there's this guy. Thirty-one. Nice. Should be dead. Okay. Can we charge it? Tried and tested tactics right. are the best ones. I will do my duty. Let's keep swinging. At your back and And we're done. Emperor, deliver us. Okay. Where's the profit in this? Stop hitting me, Ashmug. Alright. Lord Captain, the crews that were sent to the surface reports that they have cleared the collapsed passages leading to the lower levels. After exploring the abandoned rooms, they discovered, discovered valuable cargo that has already been brought aboard. Okay. Range, weaponry, provisions, and uniform kit. Alright. Well, we're saving it here. Uh, well, we don't want to go back down there. We already explored that. Or plasteel. Eh. Eh, not sure I want that. Okay, let's see. Argo. Adamantine. Yes, yes I do. Two adamantine. Not explored. The sight before you has excited the officer corps who are delighted to witness the truly majestic end of this planet through the huge windows on the grid. 
one of many nameless worlds throughout the expanse, an unknown reason caused the planet to break into several uneven parts, but its strong magnetic field is still preventing them from drifting into the cold abyss of space. The planet's hard inner core has remained almost untouched as thousands of explosions take taking place under its shell of hard metals lights light up the world's heart from the inside. The auger crew detects several ruined extractiums on the broken planet's surface. Their analysis shows somebody used to mine adamantite here but abandoned the deposit after the catastrophe. Most of the machines are damaged beyond repair, but the Tekadex claim one of the complexes can be restored if the rogue trader has the required parts and equipment. Ah, uh, let's go with one. A few dozen time bells laid, uh, the Lord Captain is informed that the repair crew is suffering from unrelenting headaches, most likely caused by the oppressive magnetic field of this world. However, the machines have been successfully repaired and the extraction of adamantine may continue if the Lord Captain wishes. Of course, the mine needs to be staffed with a squad of working servitors and a maintenance bridge doomed to endure the endless pain caused by the magnetic storms. Ah. Uh, gain three adamantine. Gain a mobile extractium. Ah, uh, for an Iconoclast playthrough, I think we'll just take the extractium. Alright. Oh, this looks like a nice planet. It has nothing on it. Okay. Now, let's save. Projection from the warp looks and sounds quite dangerous. But, uh, actually, I think this is probably a good place to end the episode, but before we do that, let's go back to the bridge. Okay, before we left Forgotten Twins, we probably should have gone to the Cogitator. Your Lordship, the Great Mechanism has sensed your presence. Ah, uh, input, okay. Point at the text, and what is that supposed to mean? The screen blinks and a new entry appears in place of the previous one. Input prompt. Okay. The machine spirit has recognized the one who, who stands before it. The previous string of sacred code signified a greeting as well as acknowledgement that you have successfully completed a certain task. Now the great mechanism stands ready to process your requests. What task? The answer lies beyond the bounds of my knowledge. My supposition is that it might have been have something to do with your recent travels. Oh, await request, sense my presence, how? This mechanism was molded in the forges of the Adep Adeptus Mechanicus so that it might serve the rogue trader. It was in your presence that its machine spirit first manifested itself. A miracle of the Omnissiah and a testament to his glory. Enough of this, I wish to inquire about something else. Uh, hand the Dargonus data bank to access the data from Dargonus. With reverent trepidation, the tech priest accepts the device from your hands and places it inside one of the drives, all while honoring the machine with modulating binaric prayer. The turbines within the cogitator stir into motion and the vid screen lights up. Input OS stab true stat check in it. Okay, yeah. The machine spirit has revealed the contents of the encrypted data and I hereby pass it to you. This is where I reach the limit of my authorization, but you now have the option to review the decrypted data personally. Okay. Uh, Alright, we've got the Dargonus seal. Ah, oh, so this one's done now, is it? Check the Lord captains okay yes uh we have new contracts let's get rid of that race to top need three adamantine increases profit factor by two let's do that okay uh date from 
Newis, okay. Theodora von Valencius's personal notes. Rogue trader like a lackey. It is humiliating and dispiriting to put up with the part of an errand servant to an imperious madman vested with even greater power that, than that of any rogue trader. Alas, when one side of the scales holds my pride and the other the fate of the von Valencius protectorate and my entire bloodline, choice becomes a futile illusion. It'd be far too naive of me not to prepare for the worst. Epitaph will decide the future of the Expanse as a whole, but I have some time at my disposal until then. Heirs with the Von Valencius blood in them will soon be located and brought to me. I cannot afford to delay the choice of successor any longer. Okay, well. 15 to 23. Uh, info. Additional hit chance 10%. Okay, this is the one that poisons on a failed toughness test. Oh, that can go to cargo. Two worn seals. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Alright, well, let's head over here. And I think this is a good place to stop uh, for the episode. We're just about to hit that projection of the warp thing. And... We're still trying to figure out how to get the Palatium Stelos. Uh, I'm not sure why we can't reach it through Forgotten Twins, but there might be something else going on that's stopping that from happening. The only problem is that if we can't reach it, then we're going to get... Well, we're going to lose a chance to weaken the Drakari raids on us, which might be... What might make... Uh, Drakari void ship combats a bit more difficult, but we'll deal with that uh, as we get to those issues. So for now, I think this is a good place to stop, as I said. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.